Um, I just published a book on digital marketing and again about, you know, bridging the right brain with the left brain and bringing it into the fold, bringing your metaphysics into your everyday. Mm -hmm. um, my, and I working on another book on digital marketing, which is my profession. Um, and in the conclusion of both books, I put a little bit of my metaphysical interest in that because in the greater reality beyond the 3D, none of this is really real. It's all a hologram. It's really yeah. enough that we have the experience, but you know, when you are creating a product um, and that product essentially is just air, it's not really real, then <laughs> right. what, what are you selling and buying? Right. Okay, so what you are selling and buying is you're selling um, and trading love energy. Mm -hmm. The things that we make are just expressions of us. They're expressions of our love energy that somebody else is picking up on this that they want. So like if they have, like for instance, if they have an issue in their life, like I have a problem getting from point A to point B and the means in which I'm, I'm using to get from point A to point B is my car and it's not working, I need to find somebody to give me this solution. And so they find a mechanic and what the mechanic is doing is their version of love energy that they're transferring is I have the experience to fix this vessel that you're using to go from point A to point B. And so they're exchanging that energy and the form in which um, the energy is being reciprocated, the thank you note that we're giving each other is money. Right. If money is a thank you. Thank you for having the love to provide yourself as a resource to fix my car so I can go from point A to point B and live a better, more enriching life. And right. so thank you, here's the money for your service. And that's 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 what it's exchanged. That's why that song from Eddie Money, um, you know, I want, I want money, lots and lots of money. You know? <laughs> that song, that's why it's a, I want love, lots and lots of love. That's really all it is. And yeah. so, um, and so, in my books, I do infuse a bit of metaphysics into that because when you understand, it's not just about these physical things that we're buying and selling. It's really about expression of your version of love that you're making and trading. Um, and that's why when that expression fails to meet their expectations or what you describe it should do, they get so upset at you. Right. You know, that's why customers distrust things when it it fails to meet their expectations. And yeah. so when you see that, you become a greater um, business person because now it's not just about making money. Now it's about um, taking care of the people that trust you with the love energy that you're giving to them, taking care of them with your expression of love. And when you take care of people and you look out for the best interest, if they chose you, to provide that solution to them, then they will be your customer for not only this lifetime, but all their friends and family, and they'll be around for as long as you're in business. And that's where you make the serious money because you're not just looking for short-term gains. How can you make the most money, money by screwing up the most people? Right. Uh, and then closing my business, what you're doing, what you're doing is you're looking for long-term gains by building um, your own tribe of people. Right that trust your expression of love. So and it, and it beats a, a life review that you have to go and, you know, you didn't spread the love, but you're spreading negativity around. But in this, if, if you know, not only do you get word of mouth business because people trust you and they trust you to, to take care of their loved ones, but they pay it forward in the enrichment of their own life and how yeah. you've bettered their own life. So yeah. and and that's the that's leading to the world we want to live in, right? Exactly. And so everybody's doing it in their own di different way by being the best mom and raising higher frequency children or being the best mechanic and 
providing um, a good service that is quality, um, you know, by by providing materials that's your own expression that is quality and contributing to a longer life cycle. So, like if you're if you're building houses with um, with with good content, good material, you're not you know cutting corners. People's lives are going to be taken care of, and they're not going to hurt themselves in your house that you just right. built. So remember, the thing is, is that everybody thinks that. Um, in the West, awakening and ascension is, is, a, is a religious thing. It's really not. Like um, Dr. David R. Hawkins, the number one mental health doctor in New York what, during his um, you know, practice as a doctor at the time, he has proven through measuring the level of consciousness of different people that different people can radiate at 300, 400, 500, 600 levels or more 500 is usually the amount that he says when people start feeling uncomfortable in the body because if you get if your energy is too dense and too um, too high, the body can only handle so much, and then um, it will move on. But um, he's proven in kinesiology research that he's done that you could have have a high level of consciousness and affect people around you and your own life, not just in religion, but you could do it as a doctor, you could do it as a scientist, you could do it as a mom, you could do it as just a regular person gardening all day and just living a better you know, version of yourself. So there's lots of different ways in which you can be a higher level of consciousness, and we need to really get out of the whole religious box that, it, that spiritual awakening only happens in religions, and that's not true. No, oh, yeah, it totally limits us in our abilities. I mean, when you think of, oh, this is the only way God or a higher source can operate is just through this one little thing. Wow, how limited is that thinking? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like so limited and about the one thing that's limitless that you yeah. can think about. You know? Because because spirituality, everything is spiritual. Right. Everything is a hologram. So it's not just, you know, in religion. Everything is a hologram. Everything is spiritual. So when you see that everything is spiritual, everything is a hologram, then you th then you open yourself to, okay, so I've got to live the best version and be kind this way and that way and, and so forth. So you just trade compassion and kindness all over the place. But you got to remember in the earlier discussion about karma and about creating um, your hellish life review, even as a person who makes bad products that uh, don't – that cause um, destruction in people's lives or that, that don't um, last very long. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're live review, you're going to have a review of how your product affected other people's lives. Mm -hmm. And if it destroyed those people's lives and their kids' lives and other things, you're going to have that review in their first hand. So if you created a car that, um, you know, that you didn't take a fiduciary responsibility in trying to make sure it was a safe car to put out there um, or, or put the disclaimer, and, and you just wanted the short-term money, and people died through that, you're going to live their lives, and you're going to live um, their deaths directly in your life with you. So be careful what you create and put out there, and make sure Definitely. it's the best expression that you can create for yourself. Absolutely. So, you know. Well, we have a lot more we can talk about, Vine. I'd love to have you back sometime in 2020. I mean, here, this is the second to last show of the 2019, and it was a great one. I totally appreciate you taking the time. I got a message. So, um, you know, like, yeah, I know we're going to 2020 and 2020 is just, it's going to be awesome year. Like, like every year could be an awesome year for you. It's really up to you to decide what, what again, how do you want your book to read? Um, but, you know, my favorite, my favorite Christmas song, because we're going between Christmas and New Year's um, and, and Buddhists love Christmas. because We pick any holiday we want because it's all good in the in the greater reality. Mm -hmm. So my favorite one is um, the grown up Christmas song. And the chorus in that is, it always rings true to me, and I just love it. And the chorus goes, um, No more lights torn apart, and wars will never start, and time will heal all hearts. Everyone will have a friend that right will always win and love will never end this is my grown-up christmas wish 
So that's my favorite yeah. chorus of that, of that song. And that can be my grown up Christmas wish or my New Year's Christmas wish. Um, but the, the same thing that happens in every one of my sessions, I get the same message um, from all my, my sessions of QHHT. So I put those messages into these sentences because it's always the same. So in short, this is the last message I want to leave your audience with um, that comes through from the Oversoul to um, all my clients. And, and I put it into this message. Um, so the, the last message is that the Oversoul wants everyone to know is that you've always been enough. You've always been enough. And use the gifts and the resources all around you to create the life that you want to experience. A life full of joy and love. And the spirit world will nudge you through synchronicity. And you can do it. Okay? You can do it. So that's the message that the Oversoul wants everyone who wants to radiate at a higher frequency to keep in mind. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Von Galt. That's Von Galt, ladies and gentlemen, and we will definitely have her back in 2020. We have more to talk about Lemuria. We have this more of the spirit world. We, we won't run out of stuff. And plus, you're already getting stuff in your sessions all the time. So, so thank you so much. Lots of love and light to each and every one of you. And thanks again, Von, for being here. <laughs> all right, peace. If you'd like to support the work I do, go to paypal.me slash UOTF. Thanks.